Guys, what's up? I wanna show you something really cool and new from Studio Design. This is the software that comes with your Midas where you are able to do some designs. Um, firstly, they've improved the crown design dramatically. Load times are blazingly fast. Proposals are better. They also have some secret integrations with um, three shape AI design coming soon, which is going to be awesome. But what's really exciting to me and what I want to show you is the onlay inlay feature. So you click the tooth that you're working on, in this case, tooth number 19. And what it's going to do is try to AI find the margin. They've gotten better and better at margin finding, especially if you got butter smooth preps. We always want butter smooth preps, don't we guys? And so this is the goal to have AI be able to find your preps and your margins really cleanly with good retraction and good smooth scans and preps. So let's see how it did on my tooth here. It takes roughly about two minutes, but this is being dramatically sped up. Um, there's a version that's coming out that's more like uh, 30 seconds. But okay, so now it finds my margin. It does a pretty decent job. This is a real patient case. It's not a type of um, case. We did scan with a rubber dam on, um, which is what I usually like to do. And sometimes that even throws off the AI more than if you didn't but I'm just happy that the AI is able to find it with even a rubber dam scan. That's super cool because some softwares just freak out when you scan with the rubber dam. So I'm just tweaking it. I'm grabbing the line and moving it in just about four or five small different spots. I did a super good job finding this. I think this is really improved on uh, from what I've seen in the past and they just keep getting better and better. Kudos to the Sprint Ray team here for doing this. Now, when you hit next, you get this kind of tooth, it's very similar to say like ExoCAD where you get the tooth placement step where there's just this tooth floating in air and you could kind of move it, stretch it, scale it. Ideally, you cover the orange. However, um, I find that sometimes when you cover all the orange, you're going to have a hyper occlusion crown. So things that I look at are like the marginal ridge heights, um, central groove location, cusp tip heights. I try to get them all even. I hit next and um, I hope that the AI is able to lock the proposal down to my margins um, if you got an error in this step, it, it probably just means you didn't cover enough orange and you need to go back and make the tooth bigger, which then will force you to kind of have to reduce the occlusal more. But we got a good proposal here um, with my initial tooth placement. So I'm going to hit the green thumbs up. I'm loving it. Super beautiful. Man, I like this anatomy um, right off the gate here. And everything's looking really nice. I like to use at first this morph tool on large, just be careful where you're clicking, but look at this. It, when you have it on large, you're less likely to create like weird little folds and ripples. And then I'm going to turn on my occlusal heat map. And you know, this is always a struggle whenever you design is reduction and occlusion and, um, all sorts of scenarios. So what do you really want to look for here? Well, so blues are out of occlusion. Um, anything that's true green, yellow, orange, or red is in hyper occlusion. And so really what we want, is, especially when we're glazing, like I like to do um, with the candy coating and things like that, is we want to make sure that everything's blue, which is 200 microns out of occlusion, except where you want your occlusal contact points to be, which is on these functional cusps here. So you see how I have a dot of green. Now the true green is maybe just a little bit too heavy, but I'm gonna leave it because it's right at my margin and I can't reduce it much more right there. The patient has a contact, but that teal green is perfect. It's a hundred microns out of occlusion, which by the time you glaze it, it's gonna be perfect. Now for the proximal contact, you want it to be zero, which is true green and a speck of yellow, which is a hundred microns heavy. Um, just a little spec, and this is, you know, what I found to be good. So, so see what we got here. We got blue out of occlusion, a little dot of green in occlusion. Um, that's that kind of teal green. The true green green is going to be a little heavy right there, but I'm okay with that. Um, this is beautiful. I'm actually loving this thing. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And when it, when you hit next, it does this kind of, I think it's like a cover CYA type thing. Sprint Ray does where it shows you thin areas. I wish it wouldn't do that. It's just kind of annoying. Uh, because I also don't like the way it calculates the thin areas. It's just kind of like randomly everywhere and spots that don't make sense. Like the marginal ridge is like six feet thick. Um, and then it gives you the option to boost the thickness, which will ruin everything. Or, or just hit ignore. And if you hit ignore, it like tells you like your, your warning or whatever. I just wish it wouldn't include that step at all. It's annoying. And there's a bug sometimes where it forces you to go thicker even when you don't want to, which makes everything unusable for occlusion. Um, but then 
Uh, I hit ignore and I hit next and it's going to go ahead and nest it in Rayware Cloud. So let's go see how it does here. I'm just going to bring it into the Midas. Again, guys, this is a beta. It's a work in progress, but they've come so far so fast. I'm really excited about multiple units and things like that. Okay, so it nests it safely. Clusal surface down, a million supports, five minutes, probably 100% success rate for this print, super fast. But you'll make up for that time trimming all the supports off the occlusal. So what I would prefer to do, and this is riskier, is to rotate it um, buckle proximal, like this angle, and have zero supports on my occlusal surface. The downside of this is less surface area, less adhesion to the build plate, possible increase in failure, especially for thicker resins, and a longer print time, eight minutes. But to have the perfect occlusal anatomy is worth it for me. So that's what we got, guys. Super impressed with where we're at with this kind of stuff. So check it out.